Royal Air Force is the only service formed by an Act of Parliament, in particular formed to defend the people, the rights, the freedoms, the privileges of those of us living in the United Kingdom. Over the last hundred years, the Royal Air Force has delivered across the piste, over the skies of the United Kingdom, either defending against the Germans during the Second World War or providing search and rescue. Personnel serving in the Royal Air Force, they do it from a sense of duty and a sense of purpose, and they do it to defend us, the citizens of the UK. Over the years at Bremont, we've, we've produced limited edition watches, uh, which are rather special in nature, usually celebrating an event of historical significance, but also they have a charitable angle to them. And over the next year, we're going to be celebrating a very important anniversary in world and British aviation history. To mark the 100 years since the RAF was founded, we'd love to introduce the Bremont 1918. So with 100 years of history behind the RAF, it's an incredibly difficult process to decide which part of that history and which aircraft to integrate into this really rather special watch. In the end, we went for four very iconic aircraft from two very, very historic campaigns, dating from the First World War through to the Battle of Britain and the Second World War. The two aircraft here are very special. They're based here at Duxford with the Imperial War Museum and we have the Blenheim and the Spitfire Mark I. What makes them special? Uh, the Blenheim is the only flying Blenheim in the world. There are no Mark I's anywhere. This is the only example. They use the Blenheims for a lot of different things, ground attack, anti-shipping uh, and night fighting uh, during the Battle of Britain period. The Mark I Spitfire uh, is one of the aircraft that was uh, shot down during the actual Dunkirk campaign recovered from the beaches, restored here at Duxford, and it now flies on behalf of the Imperial War Museum here at Duxford. So two very special aeroplanes. We've also used material from a First World War aircraft, the 1917 RAF SE-5A. It's the only surviving original SE-5A from the First World War, and it's still flying and owned by the charitable Shuttleworth Collection. As part of the watch, we've used original aluminium skin, from one of the few original Hurricanes still flying today with Battle of Britain history. This was built by Hawker Aircraft Company in 1940 and had a very active wartime history. The watch, aptly named the Bremel 1918, not only incorporates this incredible history from the RAF in a 43mm watch case, but it's available in white gold, rose gold and stainless steel and houses this beautifully finished chronograph movement with Bremel's first AM, PM indicated depicting the historic day and night RAF battle scenes at six o'clock. The hundred years of military aviation is a milestone that we really felt strongly at Bremont that we should be celebrating with this limited edition watch. Um, the RAF links both for our military business, a um, large proportion of our, our manufacturing is for military around the world, um, and both Nick and I trained with the RAF, my father was ex-RAF, so we feel very connected with it. We're really pleased, um, as with all our limited editions, to be working with a charitable organisation. And this time it's the RAF Association, which is so perfectly placed, being that it's the 100 years of the RAF. And it's an organisation that looks after ex-servicemen. So for us to raise funds for them and awareness is, is something we're really proud of. Those people have been through many different uh, issues and traumas through their lives. And as we see today, as President of the Royal Air Forces Association, I'm delighted to see the welfare support that's offered across the piece to the Royal Air Force family. That is why support from Bremont is absolutely in line with the needs, the desires and the aspirations of those who served in the Royal Air Force. Not only in terms of the delivery of benevolence, but also in exploiting science, technology, engineering and mathematics the precision that comes from the timepiece of Bremont. The last hundred years has been an amazing achievement in, in British aviation and technology and it really is a milestone that we should be celebrating. This valued institution prides itself as a force for good, looking ahead to the next 100 years and we are honoured to be celebrating it with them with the Bremont 1918.